Um, I wanted to ask a little, um, Adrian mentioned that when teams deny access to Croy and to Trin, as Orlando seemed to really work hard to do tonight, um, there are obviously there are going to be solutions everywhere. Um, where it took, it seemed like it took a while to find them. Where were you finding them, and how long did you think it took for the group to find them? Me. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we just need to be more patient through the back line. Um, we were able to find, like, with Hal and Andy and them switching the point. So I think when we started switching the point more, that's when they got disorganized. And then we were able to find, like, Trin and Croy and spaces closer to the goal. The game, obviously, the end of the game, actually you hit the crossbar. There's a lot of a lot of things happening in the last, you know, stoppage time, 10 minutes. Um, do you feel like maybe those openings could have been there before the red card? Was there an opportunity to open the game up to that extent, um, given the, the score and everything going into that phase of the game? Yeah, I think so. Um, I feel like in the first half, we had some opportunities as well um, to score a few more goals. Um, I think to Tara's point, if I think there's moments where we could have switched it a couple more times and maybe a little bit quicker um, and spread them out and then found our midfielders. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, I, I think there are moments that we could have capitalized or just created more opportunities before the red card. Um, Ashley, how do you feel with this amazing goal? Uh, pretty excited. Um, it's always nice to score. Um, just wish that we would have been able to get the result that we wanted, but um, always happy to score. Was that second? Yeah. This is for anyone in the defense. Uh, what did you guys feel of Orlando's attack, and where did you guys feel like they were able to win those opportunities to find those spots to score, and where you guys felt like you guys had an advantage over them? I think what they created was kind of given to them. Um, Tara did a great job on Banda. Um, <clears throat> first half, I don't feel like they had really any chances other than their goal, which we just kind of uh, turned off for a second and thought maybe the ball was going out of bounds and then didn't come defend the box. So one shot, one goal. And then the second half, off a set piece and then a penalty kick. Um, so just really unfortunate ways to concede. Um, we need to be better in the details and defending our box and just not giving them those opportunities. But overall, I think their chances really only came from the counter, uh, winning second balls. So um, we'll look to be more aggressive, more physical, make sure we don't give up anything. But I mean, over overall, like they weren't really breaking us down or you know, p connecting passes around us. So I think uh, as we continue to possess and as we get better as a team, that's really going to be the way teams are going to resort to beating us. Um, so credit to Orlando for finishing their chances. Um, and we just, on the other end, got to, to make more of ours. And Ashley, if you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ashley, um, you came off the bench. Uh, Adrian said that it was part of like squad rotation with three games in 10 days. When did you know you were going to come off the bench? And how did you feel you added a spark to the game when you came on the field? Um, I had a conversation with him yesterday about my role for today. And so from that conversation on, I was just mentally preparing um, to make an impact whatever situation we were in. Um, I was super excited for Ule to score that goal and give us the the tie, so I was even more excited to go in. Um, but yeah, I was prepared to make an impact, whatever the result was. Um, and I hope I did that, but I, it obviously wasn't enough. So um, hopefully we can learn from this and get better going forward. Over to Peyton. Hi, kind of similar question um, for you, Ashley. Coming into this game in the second half, obviously not ideal. You wouldn't start. But do you feel like you had any, um, oh my gosh, what's the word? Sorry, it's late. <laughs> <laughs> do, like, do you feel like it was beneficial or like you got um, 
insight that was helpful to creating the chances and opportunities that you did in the second half by having that time to kind of watch what Orlando was doing since this is a very different Orlando team than you've seen in the past? Yeah, definitely. I think anytime I'm on the bench, I'm always watching, you know, Ule or Paige, the positions that I possibly would go in at. And so, um, yeah, I was definitely watching and seeing what Orlando was presenting and what opportunities you're finding success in. So, yeah, I was watching. Over to Andre. <laughs> we'll go over to Andre for a turn. I uh, had a couple questions. I want to start with uh, Ashley. You came in to the game and were playing more of a role that we're familiar with you playing. In the past couple of weeks, we've seen you playing kind of deeper and, on, and kind of wide. Um, just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on that role in particular and also how good it felt to actually get into the box and kind of do the things we're, we're known that you can do. Yeah. Um... When I was talking to Adrian yesterday, he said there was multiple roles that I could play when I came in. So like I said earlier, I was just kind of mentally preparing. But when I heard that there was a possibility I'd be playing the nine, I was obviously really excited um, because I feel comfortable and I like that position. Um, so I was just really excited. And then um, what was your second half of the question? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to get your thoughts on the, the second, I guess, the secondary role that you can play yeah. and have been playing in the past couple of weeks a little bit deeper and wider. Yeah. Um, it's just the role that I've been asked to play, and so um, I'm grateful that the coach has faith in me to play multiple positions. I think it's good to um, be able to play multiple roles. Um, it's been fun. It's been a new challenge for me, and I've enjoyed the challenge. I'm still learning in that role, and there's lots of room for growth, I would say, especially like trying to get higher up and be a little bit more involved in the attack. That's something that I'm trying to balance. Um, but yeah, it's been fun, and I'm willing and able and ready to play whatever position the team needs you to play. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a question for, for Tara. Um, obviously, Barbara Banda is very good at her hand in all the goals. But when talking to Adrian, he was saying that for the most part, it felt like she was defended quite well. And I think from our perspective, well, I won't say our. There's too many people in the room to say our. <laughs> from my perspective, it seemed like you did a very good job on her, closed down on her quickly to try to deny her the ball. So I know it's tough with it when you give up three goals, but how do you assess your individual performance against a superstar striker like her? Um, yeah, I mean, she's great. Um, but just going into this game, we had like a game plan like we always do on the forwards and we were able to watch film and so I kind of saw the tendencies that she liked to do and just tried to take that away from her and I think yeah she did have a hand in every goal but it wasn't really breaking us down so I think overall it was like pretty good job. <laughs> good job. You did a good job. And we'll I give Tara yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She knew the assignment. <laughs> we have time for one more from Jimena and Jason. OK, ladies. Um, so you say that we're going to move forward. So are we going to be ready to play against to Chicago? How do you feel in how uh, you have a short time? The, the game is on Wednesday. So oh, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we definitely will be ready. We have a 24-hour rule in our team, so win or lose, we have 24 hours to reflect on what happened, how to get better from that situation. So by the time that we go to Chicago, we should be prepared for the next game ahead of us. Yeah, I, I think our squad is really deep. We've got a lot of people who can play different roles, like you know, Hatchie coming in off the bench, scoring a great goal, almost having a second, um, so hopefully just with the depth of our squad, we'll have you know 11 people ready to go on Wednesday. And I'm grateful for a quick turnaround because it sucks to lose. So hopefully we'll get a win sooner than later. And we'll wrap <laughs> up with Jason. Uh, Aubrey, I wanted to ask, there was a, a couple of moments in the first half where the play was up at the other field, but in the press box, we're down at your end. Um, it looked like. Mike was coming up off the bench multiple times to communicate something. Um, I don't know how much you can share about that, but um, what exactly was going on there? It seemed like there was not a disagreement or anything, but just something that had to be conveyed. <laughs> oh, I mean, usually he's telling me, you know, what to do or what not to do. <laughs> um, just in the buildup, because they were waiting for us. Um, so I got to come up a little bit higher today, playing with Anna and Tara. Um, and I was kind of going long a bit originally. He was just 
saying to pass a little bit more, make a move, and then look long. Because um, if you, you guys saw against Gotham, like, we had frat one all day. Um, but Orlando presented a different challenge for us. Um, like, we couldn't go straight direct, so we wanted to switch it. Um, like Katya mentioned, quick switches, and then maybe look to um, break them down through the height. But uh, didn't quite execute today, um, so I'm looking forward to how we respond on Wednesday. Yeah. Thank you, Aubrey, Ashley, and Tara. Thank you, everybody. We will see you virtually from the road for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you, guys.